Hello YouTube. I thought I'd introduce you to my bush bag. This is not a bug out bag. It's not a get home bag. It's not an inch bag. It is my bush bag. It's just for fun. I go out with the kids. Yes, a lot of these items you could use for that regard. And a lot of it, if I was building a bug out bag or an inch bag, a lot of this would stay with it. For instance, this main part of it is as I call it a bag, but as you can see, it's not a bag. This was actually a drum that they used to ship uh, drugs in. Not anything fun, but <laughs> that's how they bulk ship uh, medications. So, um, and I got it through a twisted deal. But <laughs> no, there was nothing in it when I got it. But since I don't like making huge long videos, I'm going to get into this and I'll probably break it up into a couple parts. What I'll do is I'll just pull this off. This is my water bottle bag. I'll go through that in a second. But we'll start at the front here. I had, this was an original frame pack from I don't know what company. But I ended up having it, these straps custom built for me. I'm a bigger guy, I'm six foot two, 280. So, I mean, this is, a lot of people are going to say, there's too much weight. You know what, you're probably right, but I don't have to walk that far. Also, grow a pair and learn how to carry stuff or drop stuff. I, I'm strong enough to carry it for a good chunk of the day. So, anywho, I'll show you what's in these. Damn it, they're going to be going using anywho again. But I'll show you what's in these pack, these pockets. This. Uh, if you watched any of my other videos, is a cheap little flashlight. Nothing special. And there, if you watched any of the other videos, that's I did a review on this headlamp. I haven't been able to take these out yet. But that's what's... And this is just a stupid little plastic case I got at the dollar store. But if I open this up... Jam packed full of other AAA batteries. See, I'll be taking my kids out when I go, so I don't want to make them carry any too, too much weight. So I'll carry all the extra batteries for all their flashlights, because if you've ever gone camping with a two year old, a seven year old, and a nine year old, you will go through a lot of headlight. Next, we got this lower pouch here. What just fell out is actually some birch bark that I collected on one of my other endeavors. Just keep it on top of there. Oh, it's hard to do with one hand. Then we just got some steel wool. And um, those are actually uh, matches I made. They're toilet paper dipped in wax wrapped around a wooden mat. And I gotta say, they are so simple to make and they are so effective. I think I, I made one of these once and it burned for almost five minutes by itself. So, real easy way to get a fire started. And then we move on to a much harder way to get a fire started, I suppose. Oh, and there we go. That right there is my flint and steel kit. And that's all wrapped up with bank line there. Um, Nothing special about that. Just got some char cloth and the metal and a flint. Uh, I more use that just for fun. You know, it's good. It's a good skill to have, but I wouldn't rely on this. It's just there because when I, go, like I say, I go out to the bush. It's for a learning experience. And last, in that, a couple of them solid cubes. They they start a fire really great. Easy to start up with. I just keep them in there. Because that's kind of like a mini fire kit for me. And I have in this pouch. Just hanging on the outside, I got a Fox 40 whistle. Again, not that it's something I need too often. But with the kids, they all have whistles too, so we can track them down if they get a little too far ahead of us in the bush. Now in here, that's just my head wrap. And these are, I would say, almost one of the most important things in my kit. This is uh, folding sunglasses that strap onto your head. Where I camp, there is a lot of one inch and two inch 
thorns all along the trees. They're straight. I think it's a hawthorn tree. And they are nasty. And for someone like me who just had their cornea replaced, you kind of want to keep your eyes. The next thing in there is actually a stupidly cheap compass. There we go. And everyone can look at how crummy and cheap that is. Now, I got into an argument or a conversation really with Hoople's, and he'll laugh at my cheap compass now after I teased him about his. But I don't really have it for the compass, I have it for the mirror. Again, out in my area, you get something stuck in your face, you want to be able to see what you're doing to pull it out. And I have a lot of my area very well memorized. So you can drop me out there drunk in the middle of the night and I can still find my way home. So, And then I just got a lighter, a big lighter in there. Go Bicker, go home. This one open. I just got some more uh, bank line, tarred bank line hanging off there on the bottom. And then in this pouch is just a set of gloves. They're nothing special. They're just thin, e easy to work with. And that's just just to keep the your hands a little bit protected. But we're gonna have to move on to another part. So. Uh,